Does logic have to be democratic? Imagine you're in an airplane flying through very rough weather and the turbulence got you and everybody else very afraid. At that time, the pilot announces that he wants to put emergency landing to public vote. What do you think? Is this a democratic behavior of the pilot or he just wants to shirk his professional responsibilities? Is it possible to resort to public vote for everything? A common misconception of democracy says that what is believed by most is correct. This unfounded reasoning is called the fallacy of resorting to public belief. It is also referred to as reasoning based on the vote of majority and reasoning based on consensus and resorting to democracy. In order to justify their illegal, immoral or unwise actions, some say everybody does that. For instance, going through the red light or not paying for the bus fare. The historical example of this fallacy was the belief that the Earth was the center of universe, which Galileo questioned. But his rightful claim was not accepted as a result of resorting to the opinion of the majority. That method is popular in religious discussions also. For example, they say God exists because millions of Christians, Jews, and Muslims believe that he does. Politicians, too, are often guilty of this fallacy. In presenting its economic plan, for example, instead of backing up its claim with professional studies, the government claims since most of the people voted for it, then its plan, therefore, is right. A familiar example of this fallacy can be found in Ayatollah Khomeini's 1981 speech in his meeting with the representatives of the parliament when he said, People want to establish the Islamic laws in this country. Considering rationale based on public opinion to be a fallacy isn't opposition to democracy. Logically speaking, a democratic process doesn't always result in the right decision. But since various groups and voices of the society participate in decision making and thereby reducing tyranny, it is the best process available. There are also many examples where while the majority has a valid opinion, the rationale for its validity isn't a popular belief. For example, people believe that cigarettes are bad for health. If we accept that based on popular belief, then we have committed fallacy. Of course, the claim is valid, but it is so based on medical evidence, not popular belief. If we were to accept the majority's opinion as our rationale, then we can also apply it to the discussion on smoking and say since a lot of people smoke, then smoking cigarettes must be okay. Therefore, majority's opinion isn't a justified reason for validity of an argument. We still need credible and logical evidence and reasoning to prove its validity.